Hi, I'm Don Standera. Welcome to Reconnected. This is where we listen to stories from spinal cord tumor survivors. We aim to provide connection between survivors by telling our stories. Our purpose is to increase awareness about what life is like after being diagnosed with an intramedullary spinal cord tumor. Because our diagnosis is so rare, it's hard to find information from the patient's perspective. When we get diagnosed, we first Google. I did. What's an ependymoma? What's a spinal cord lesion? What does intramedullary mean? I didn't find much information. Today, I thought I'd share with you just a few resources that are out there for reading. And I'm really hoping that this YouTube channel will be a resource for us, for those of us who have been affected by spinal cord tumors to um, hear each other's stories. Whether you've been diagnosed with one or caring for someone, care about someone who's going through a spinal cord tumor diagnosis. Um, so at Reconnected, this channel, we talk with the experts and the experts are the ones living with the diagnosis and surviving the surgery. I'm gonna share my screen and share with you a few resources that I know about that would be helpful if you wanna do some further reading. Um, the first is the Collaborative Ependymoma Research Network. Um, that is an online website you can Google the CERN Foundation um, helps people uh, diagnosed with ependymomas with research and referrals and connection. Um, they have been helpful to me and I know they've been helpful to a lot of people in their journey. Another resource is a book um, written by, let me make sure I get her name right, Ruth, um, Ruth Marshall. She's from Canada. She had a spinal cord tumor and she wrote a book about her experience called Walk It Off that is available on Amazon. Uh, and then there's two more books I'd like to give you information about. Oh, before I forget, I wanted to mention on the CERN website, there is a link to, I think it's called Stories, where you can read about pediatric brain ependymomas, adult brain ependymomas, uh, adult spinal cord ependymomas, pediatric brain, uh, spinal cord pneumomas. Uh, and then a lot of people tell their stories, a brief version of their story, which is helpful for me and for other people. Um, and then two other books I want to share about. Um, I, I was a part of creating. Uh, the first book is called Rewired, A Story of Recovery from Spinal Cord Tumor Surgery. That book uh, details the, what the first year of my life was like after having a C1, C2 intramedullary spinal cord tumor removed. Um, so it, it goes in chronological order from what it was like to wake up from surgery, so weird, uh, to one year after and all the things I had to relearn and reorient myself toward. Um, and then at the appendix of the book, there's a transcript of a presentation I did at the MD Anderson Spine Tumor Patient Conference. Um, and at that conference, I spoke about what it was like to live with a spinal cord tumor and decide not to have surgery, which I did for uh, four years and 10 months between diagnosis and surgery. So there's a transcript of that presentation at the end of that book. The other book in the photo is uh, the cover of Reconnected stories from spinal cord tumor survivors. Um, that's a book uh, that is a compilation of stories from 10 different people affected by spinal cord tumors. Um, I wrote in that book an update to what my life is like six years after writing Rewired. And then there are nine other people who contributed to the book, people with all with intramedullary spinal cord tumors, cervical, thoracic, lumbar, also a chapter from a life guide, life care coach guide um, from the Givens Foundation in Minneapolis, um, a Givens Brain and Spine Institute. And she helps people navigate the difficult time of diagnosis after um, we get these crazy rare diagnoses. Also in the book uh, is a, a forward um, by Kim Walgren, who's the director of the CERN Foundation I talked about earlier. And at the appendix of that book uh, is a summary of 10 different um, spinal cord experiences um, that are detailed on the CERN website. 
So lots of stories to read in there. Hopefully something that you'll find in any of these books or resources that I listed today that you would find um, helpful in feeling a little bit less alone in your journey. And finally, um, I have found a lot of support from the Spinal Cord Tumor Association Facebook page. Um, you can join. I found it to be a very positive, supportive group. Um, I have not experienced nastiness there, which I'm happy to say. Um, and it's a good place to go and talk about what you're going through and get feedback and support from other people. I hope this is helpful. I'm hoping tomorrow to interview my first interview with uh, Merv from Boston, who had a C1 uh, tumor removed, and hoping to get more interviews done and uploaded soon. I hope you're enjoying this. Let me know if you are. Uh, sctreconnected at gmail.com is the email. Thank you.